Hello guys, this is Infinite Flight here, also known as James, and today we're going to be doing a little tutorial on OBS Studio. I recommend it, it's much better than the original OBS. Don't know why, it just is. Uh, when you first install the program, we'll just jump straight into this. Uh, when you first install the program, it will look like this. Uh, these are my games if you want to look at them. Uh, don't look at anything else, it's not important. This is what it will look like, well not exactly like this, it will look more like, well nothing, it will just be a black screen. It will look like this, it will, it will be all white, but I suggest the first thing you do is when you go into it is you change the theme to dark. It's just easier on the eyes and better to see. Um, there's a thing called scenes here. These are whatever you want them to be. You call them whatever you want so you don't get confused. Instead of calling them 1, 2 and 3, yeah, you just call them. So basically... All of these, apart from recording, yeah, apart from recording and monitor test, which I'll um, demonstrate with later, these are all my streaming overlays. Like they're so. This is just normal monitor capture. It's got my full overlay game, latest follower, how many followers I have, uh, and channel nib. The chat. I'll show you how to set up these, probably, maybe, uh, and a follow, so that'll come up right in the middle there. The red box, uh, you pick how you how big you want that to be. The audio capture, that's whatever you want that to be. And I've got different scenes here, so images, I can just change to. Game you change you change that to whatever window you like recording this is what i'll be using uh the monitor test this to sh demonstrate so basically the display capture is that so when you first go onto it you want to test it out first make sure it actually does work you want to go to here go to display capture and that will just automatically do it if i do it yep Create now, or you can add an existing. You'll just create a new one, assuming that you don't have one. Uh, I can't create a new scene here because you won't be able to see anything or hear anything. Uh, the audio input, well, it's because I'm using the OBS to record this right now. Uh, audio input is whatever mic you want. You can add an output capture, which you don't really need because as default it has desktop audio when you put the input, or it's just there anyway. Browser source. They're used for overlay. You can add an existing if you already have one and you don't know how to use this. Uh, but you can create a new one. Call it whatever you like. Like say you want to put the chat overlay in from Wisebot for an example. You can put that in and then it'll ask you for a link. That's all you need to do. And then what you can do, so I'll show you here, is resize and move it about. You can do it with any overlay. And of course the font. And the transparent background will be in the settings of whichever bot you have. I won't be covering that in this video because too many factors. Um, so when you add, you can game capture for a specific window. Which I can show you here. Game capture, you need to change that every time uh, you change game. Which is what I do. Not fast. Well, for me anyway, you can add an image to for like oh yeah brb i'm eating something or please stand by you can add a slideshow that i'm not i tried to touch but can't get it media source i'm not don't know what that does uh, another scene a scene within a scene don't know about that a text that is if you don't have an image for that you can just you can just type it instead of having a whole image i suppose uh video capture device i think that's if you have a capture card and a window capture i don't do it i just do game capture unless you don't do unless you don't want to stream games i suppose you could just use that but you're probably wanting to stream games to twitch uh yeah i don't know what that does basically the main module we're going to be using is the audio input capture maybe audio output if you're feeling fancy use the browser source display capture game capture and image, they're the main, well, the main image. The proper ones you're going to be using is just display the game and audio into it. They're the three main ones that you need. Studio mode, just as that, and it looks funny. 
just there, but it would just be normally two windows of these. Transition, you can just do a cut, fade, fade, same fading, swipe, like something like that, or a luma wipe, or it just wipes it. Let's change it to that actually. Uh, the duration of the animation, you pick that there, it's pretty self explanatory. Uh, start streaming, stop recording, or start and stop. Studio mode, I'll show you that. And exit. Right, onto settings. The language. These are all. Don't really touch these. Right, so your streaming services, if you want to stream to Twitch, you click Twitch. Uh, you can pick YouTube if you like. I might only stream on Twitch at the moment. Pick your closest server where it is closest to you. Of In my case, this is London in the UK. The stream key. I'm not going to show that to you, but the stream key you will get off of Twitch. You Google how to get it, uh, and I, I might even show you later on. You Google that, uh, you go to a certain web page on Twitch, and it shows you your stream key. Do not show that to anybody else. If you show that to someone else, they can stream onto your channel and probably make you misfeel your account for Twitch, uh, so you'll probably never be able to stream on that again. <clears throat> output, right, this is where things get kind of complicated, right, for streaming, use these, CBR, bitrate, 3500, uncheck custom buffer size, these will be different on different versions of OBS, get the latest one, keyframe interval is 2, this is up to you, right, the higher it is, if you, mm, yeah, the higher it is, the less CPU usage it will be taking. So if you put that to there, you've obviously got a lot of CPU. I just keep it on very fast because I've got a, mm, just above average or high out of ultra high range of CPU. Um, profile main. Tune none. Do not click that. That that's bad. Like the frame rate will go up and down if you do that. The you want to. Yeah, keep it on check because it will lock the frame rate. Um, this for the multiply two six four options. Uh, I put that looks like open D. That's open C L equals true. That means if you have a good graphics card, I'd recommend if it has two or more gigabytes of VRAM. I have six gigabytes, so I'm fine. Uh, basically, it help it uses the graphics, the dedicated graphics card. To help out with the with the streaming. Yeah, I can't click any of that for some reason. Right, recording. This is the interesting part. I can't change any of that because I am using it to record it. But I'd suggest an MP4, especially if you're going to be using an audio mixer or different audio tracks. Say, like you might want to use three. Maybe you have. Okay, this is your normal mic. You might have a high quality studio mic. Don't have that. Um. Uh, a backup mic and a wireless mic. Your encoder will always be multiply 264 as times 264, okay? Rescale output to 1928 by 1088, that's what I'm using. Uh, that's for best quality. Or the 721. Do not touch custom muxer settings. I'm not sure if I was meant to say muxer. I don't know. Right, rate control, you want to click CRF, it's, this is the one I'm using and it, it's perfectly fine for quality. CRF, right, if you have a good CPU, pick one, right, I have an Intel 6500, seems to work okay, right, this is basically quality control, higher the number, the higher the quality, one is the highest quality you can get, put it to zero, you won't get anything. Um. I suggest if you have a mid-range CPU, maybe about 5, if it's very low, put it to about 20, max is like 50 or something like that. But if you, if you have a gaming PC and it runs games, it, the highest settings at 60fps, I think you sh you'll be fine. With one, keyframe interval at zero. Uh, this is very fast, it's a personal option, but I'd suggest very fast, uh, it doesn't cause any harm. Profile none, tune. None. 
variable frame rate. Don't click that. I told you that before. Open CL equals true. That's open Charlie Lima, right? Not D. Okay, audio. Go ham. Put it size as you want. As long as your computer can handle it. But basically, the higher the number, the better the quality. Um, audio, this is all personal settings. This, well, basically, I'm just leaving it at that because the quality isn't that high. Stereo or mono, that's up to you. Your desktop default audio device will be the one that you've selected down here. As you can see, I've got four. This is my monitor. It's the headphones I'm using. Uh, that's one of the audio auxiliary cables, and this is the second one. Uh, yeah, so speakers, that's all you really need to know about that. When it comes to video, this controls everything. This controls video and streaming, right? Your base conference resolution will only be one for most people. That'll be 1920 by 1080. That's the resolution that your screen is at. Output scaled resolution. I have 1280 by 720. That gets about 10% of my CPU. Put that to 1080. That's about 20 on my CPU. Then blinding out. That's up to you. If you have a piece of a CPU that has like 22 cores, put it to the highest one. But I keep it bella near as fast as it's fine. FPS is up to you. I stream, that's pretty much 60 FPS. Uh, well, stream and record, 720, 60 FPS. There is a 60 option, but I'm keeping it to that because YouTube says it's fine and it comes up as 720 by 60. Um, you can go 48 or 30, it's up to you. It's all dependent on your CPU. This, self explanatory, if you don't know how to work that, you got no chance using OBS, mate. Advanced, well, that's again a CPU thing. If you've got a high CPU, put it high. I keep it normal. So basically, if there's a stutter, it will stutter. But if there is. It's hard to explain, but I just keep it normal. If you have an average CPU like I have, well, above average. Uh, I use all. You must have a bad CPU. But normal should be fine for most. Uh, this is up to you. I'd suggest direct. 3d 11 because i've had no problems with that video adapter that is a graphics ca uh, graphics card a capture device that is all down to you really i just keep it on that i mean 709 and i think there's another option it's six six something 600 and something file name don't touch that all right if file exists so basically all that means if it does a duplicate it just overwrites but it would uh, if you unchecked it it would be a separate option. Sorry if I'm stuttering like, really fast. And uh, you can see that. I'm going to have to edit that out. Uh, stream delay. You never want that. Never. Especially if you want to keep keep talking to your viewers. Um, automatically reconnect. You want that on. Because if something goes wrong. And you don't notice. Yeah. It's not going to be good. Bind to. I don't know if you're allowed to see that or not. So I'll just do that. So basically, yeah, that's it. I can't explain anything else. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and like the video and tell me if this was useful. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.